What would a Disney takeover of Fox mean for pop culture? Probably some reunited X-Men, but some less obvious stuff as well. So um, what we have here is news came out from CNBC that Disney was in talks to buy 21st Century Fox, um, or at least parts of it, the good parts, <laughs> the movies, some television shows. They would stay away from sports because I think that would create a monopoly uh, in some markets which for sports. And they would stay away from Fox News because so would I. But um, <laughs> it said, it, there's, there's things going back and forth on this. Some are saying, oh, the talks are over. Some are saying, maybe don't discount them so fast because they could seem over and then not be, or they could renegotiate on a deal, or something could happen that we, as the public, don't know about. But for pop culture, this would mean quite a few things. Um, one, Fox owns Deadpool, mm -hmm. Fox owns the X-Men, Disney owns Marvel proper. Putting them together would mean we might get a good Fantastic Four movie for once. <gasps> right? <laughs> Can it be? Yeah. Uh, I, it's it's tough because the the anti monopoly thing I totally understand. Like you don't want one company running everything, but I think it always comes down to like you said, like is the content going to be good because of it? You know. Well, it's all you no. Know, you, I shouldn't discount your anti monopoly thing because if Disney bought this chunk of Fox, it would be very much a monopoly. And mm -hmm. you know, news came out this week that the L.A. Times was barred from uh, watching critic screenings of movies. From Disney because another their news branch posted some critical information about Disney and their dealings in the city of Anaheim, and it looked like this came from the executive board to bar them from this, which uh, is a corporatist take on journalism and not a good thing. As much as I love Disney, that was the wrong thing to do, and you shouldn't just give a company carte blanche because mm -hmm. you like the products they make. That would be a bad move for journalism. I mean, not to go all newsies about it, but when one person is in charge of everything that's being distributed, you're never going to get the truth or or the best uh, the best access to it. That being said, as a fanboy, it is tough because you're you're playing against the. As much as I love Deadpool, it's obvious that they're dancing around the issue that there's no other X Men around, and <laughs> almost all of these movies with lending to each other, it seems to be working. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure that one company owning it will really provide. Enough. I'd love to believe that they could write a script or do something where they would lend each other the characters they need without one person being in charge, but that's optimistic. No, that's a great point because if we have just one person in charge of all this, we're not gonna get different points of view. It's mm -hmm. all kind of kind of gonna follow one specific, if, if not style, a pattern. And then there, there are some things on the side of this couldn't be so bad. It seems like since Fox owns the rights to the original um, Star Wars movies, mm -hmm. they could finally do a re-release if Disney had those distribution rights back in their hands. So that's cool. Uh, but on the other side, there's also been some thoughts that maybe this isn't just about the X-Men or whatever properties Fox has, including uh, I think Nat, Nat Geo and FX. Uh, their Los Angeles based mm -hmm. productions. So what this basically, there's been some thoughts that since Disney is launching their own streaming service soon, that's why Disney movies are disappearing off of Netflix and those deals are expiring, is that they wanted to pick up different properties of Fox owns. So it could necessarily mean that this deal is more about Futurama than the X-Men. So that would mean they would be able to have or bolster their library with even more properties and make it more of a competitor against Netflix, against Hulu, against uh, HBO Go, HBO Now, as opposed to, I mean, we have CBS All Access and I've mentioned this a lot, there's not a lot on the app. There's only one show worth watching on it right now and it's about to go on hiatus, so this is just a reminder to cancel CBS All Access until January. <laughs> this is the problem actually that we're, I think we're all dealing with right now, just in general. All these people are trying to find a way to make a profit off of their services, but in doing so, they're just kind of splintering all of the accesses that we have and where you can find all of these shows. I don't know that that's the right answer. I mm -hmm. understand that they're companies and we live in a capitalist world where we need to find a way to make profit, but I'm not sure that firewalling everything behind your own content and paying for access each thing piecemeal is really gonna work as well as everyone thinks it is. Yeah, I mean, we also have, I, it's kind of the response from the tech industry toward the cord cutting trends mm -hmm. of most people or most young people at least. 
where cable is becoming less popular mm -hmm. and streaming on demand is becoming popular. And it seems these days you need to not just own the studio, but also the pipeline to be successful. And this right here, in my opinion, is more about Disney picking up that pipeline as much as I'd like to see proper X-Men, Fantastic Four movies. Deadpool was already good. I don't need to criticize that at all. Wouldn't it be great if the reason for anyone doing any of this is like, we want to make better stories. But no. usually it's related to finding the dollar and a better way to <laughs> access it. Well, I mean, there's pros and cons to this. I think overall, I'm not into the idea just because of I want a diversity of studios. I want there to be competition. Mm -hmm. I don't like the idea of one corporation controlling everything, even if I generally like what that corporation puts out. Audience, how would you feel about this? Is it better for Disney to pick up 21st Century Fox's properties, or is it worse for us overall? Short term, long term, think about it. Please let us know below, and please like and subscribe for more.